back of that to make even matters even worse there's now a feud happening between young lord and flipping tremaine emery from obviously supreme and which is sad to see from afar again because as much as i kind of like to see these guys worlds burn because i feel like a lot of them have kind of lived in this kind of fake existence where everyone kind of pretends they're friends and pretends everyone's the coolest when really the, the the kind of the truth of it is that they all hate each other behind their back they're all jealous they're all backstabbing each other um they're all fucking each other's girlfriends and wives and shit as being rumored and just doing loads of messy stuff and usually us the punters and the customers and stuff who are from on the outside who only get limited information because they purposely don't say certain things we still have a good read on them we can still tell who's who what's what and what what they're actually like and usually we haven't been wrong in our overall assessments of what we've seen so it's cool to kind of not cool it's fun to see them suffer like real life consequences in, in the way a real life person will suffer in terms of being called out on the internet going back and forth of text and stuff it's just kind of that but it's also sad because I have someone to pay attention to it. I know how much Tremaine was bigging up Bari. Like he, he's the one that was kind of trying to legitimize Bari in the in the sort of like contemporary art world, in the fashion world, in like a serious design artist world. Even though Bari probably didn't really care, he was trying to say, "Now this guy might be rough around the edges, but he's definitely got it. He's definitely somebody that gets it as well. He's definitely about this life." And to see them now become mortal enemies off the back of this whole thing is just horrible because this is basically a Kanye wave, really. That's kind of you know rumbled on so this is him posting a screenshot taking a clip i guess of a screenshot of another picture that i guess you know somebody else uploaded showing ambush um youth ambush sitting on his lap i guess or something or hugging him and some other people in the shot and on the top of his face he says you aids face nigga which is fucking horrendous but also i think i said before another post that it's a common adage people say but they always yeah i think the common adage people say where they say that you should always be cautious of what your friends say to you when they're angry because usually those are their real feelings about you as a person. Sometimes if your friend is a friend friend, they won't want to say what they actually think about you when they're angry. They will just walk away, keep it themselves or even won't make it a hint. It's just kind of keep it moving. But if somebody kind of, as soon as the first point of a disagreement or an argument or a bit of conflict, they, they go for the juggling just start talking saying stuff about you that you would never think they'll say you know you spot dick motherfucker or whatever it may be those are somebody you should definitely make sure that you make an effort to not be their friend in the long term because that definitely means there's definitely some envy jealousy and plotting going on in the background so you know as much as this is sad to see it's probably good for him to know because he knows okay this guy never fucks with me anyway so that's definitely so one thing and off the back of it he continued and latched onto the whole tremendous thing that Kanye had going on by by posting a picture of the box logo that got made in double quick time which looks like with a pretty decent sized box too it looks like they actually measured the proportions sorry the kind of size of the dimensions of the box logo and kind of made it fit similar with the same font and it says bitch made tremendous nigga you 40 and only date white women which is a weird flipping diss to put to somebody. But I guess if he's trying to kind of twist a knife in and say, hey, you're this kind of freedom fighter guy, which I think someone, who did someone call him in the comments? Uh, someone called him in the comments like streetwear Marcus Garvey or something, which is incredibly insulting, isn't it? You try to uplift your community. You try to make something that people can be, can rally behind in terms of the reef jeans. I feel like they're just pretty cool. It's much better than um, that bag that was going flipping viral during the beginning of the pandemic that had like abolished systematic racism or something like that. It's like, excuse me? Oh, I don't want that on my handbag. Like, you know, it just feels a weird thing. So if you want to do something that kind of, you know, plays on that, I think what I mentioned previously was the one. But anyway, bitch made. Da -da -da. Um, obviously, sorry, the routines were definitely the one in that respect. The next screenshot from a story says, "Hey, you're tremendous. You're turning fifty right now. So first he's so first he's forty, and then there's white women. Now he's fifty. So his date, his years keep changing. But again, this is another kind of illustration of the obsession with youth. These kids have, and when they're coming up, they think for whatever reason that they're no, they're also not going to get old. They're always going to be like in like twenties or thirties. It's like crazy. Anyway, it says here, "You're tremendous. You're turning fifty right now. The fuck you ain't got no more money than me." again unnecessary and a dumb insult because from what i can tell you know tremaine's not really operating dead in tears or the fuck stuff he does as a way to attain wealth and buy like a, men, a flipping penthouse mansion in miami it looks like he just wants to partake he's always wanting to be involved and be an artist in his own way and this is his ways of doing it by having these different sort of vessels that he can use to sort of present his ideas but i don't think it's like a brand where he's trying to get stocked everywhere in all the right places and sell it out which obviously barry keeps more attention to but again 
you know, these guys, they pretend like they're friends, but really behind the scenes, they never, never were friends. Another one, it says Tremendous sucked Tre Mark Jacobs' dick, which I'm not sure if that's real or if that's fake. And if it is real, that's also gross. It's posing that about him. It says, the other one says, I'm the fucking Tupac of this fashion. Whatever I fucking do, you niggas do. I'm the fucking sensei of this shit. And I'm only fucking 30 years old, which is interesting thing to say because I don't think he's a sensei or at all. Sensei, sorry. Maybe there was a time period where you had the opportunity to do so. Like I said, that Paris Fashion Week show that he did, there was a golden time there where I thought, wow, this guy has potential. He could go places. But after that, he's fallen off. He's gone for the easy money, really, for the most part. Um, doesn't really challenge himself artistically. I feel like at all and now we're where we're at it we are where we're at but yeah that's that's the beef between um flipping young lord and Tremaine emery happening now at the moment um i'm not just sure it's probably ended already because you know it's a bit one-sided because everyone else is basically stum and not wanting to say more before they attract the attention of kanye and whatnot but overall it's a sucky thing to see um unfortunate but it is bill illuminating to find out that flipping barry doesn't own flipping flown it's absolutely mind-blowing to think that's a situation that was allowed to happen man absolutely crazy but yeah hopefully everyone heals from this or going forward hopefully everyone heals from this going forward